Let's start today's tech talk with Reebok. Reebok is going to launch its first smartwatch that is Reebok Active Fit 1.0 in India soon and it has been listed on amazon.in. This smartwatch has HD display, 15 sports mode, heart rate sensor, blood pressure monitor, blood oxygen monitor, motion tracking, sleep monitoring you can receive message and calls notifications this smartwatch will be ip67 rated and will be available in black blue and red strap colors on a magic v first ever design is here and this clamshell folding smartphone could be launched around 10th of january 2022 this smartphone could have 8 inch inner display, 6.5 inch cover display. It will be powered with Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor. It has 66 watt fast charging and possibly triple rear camera setup. Dizo is going to launch its Dizo Watch R in India on 5th of January. This smartwatch will have 1.3 inch Ultra AMOLED 360x360 360 pixels resolution, 550 nits brightness display, metallic frame body, 2.5D curved glass, 150 plus watch faces, always on display, 12 days battery life, 5 atmospheric resistance, 110 plus sports mode, 24 by 7 heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor, sleep monitor will be integrated and customizable with Dizo app 2.0, music controls, camera controls and smart notifications. Not only the Indian launch of Dizo, Dizo will launch its Dizo Bird C Pro in China on 5th of January. These buds will have 10 mm dynamic driver with a base boost plus algorithm driver, active noise cancellation, 25 hours of playback time and 88 milliseconds low latency. Xiaomi launched its Xiaomi Wireless Car Charger Pro in China. This charger is compatible with wide variety of smartphones. It gives 50 watt wireless fast charging, one hand usage, USB type C and USB type A port and it is launched at a price of Yuan 369 that is around rupees 4000. Samsung is going to launch its Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 in India very soon and it is listed on Amazon.in. This tablet has 10.5 inch TFT LCD 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution display, 8 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front camera, 7040 mAh battery with 7.75 watt charger, quiet speakers, Dolby Atmos, 3.5 mm audio jack. USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. This tablet is 6.9 mm thick and it weighs 508 grams. Android 11 with 1 UI 3.1. It will come in 3 GB, 32 GB, 4 GB, 64 GB and 4 GB, 128 GB variants and will be available in grey and pink colors. Firebolt launched its Firebolt Almighty smartwatch in India at a price of rupees 4999. This smartwatch has 1.4 inch AMOLED display, 
Bluetooth calling, IP67 water resistant, SP auto monitoring, heart rate sensor, and up to 10 days battery life. Suzuki Jimny, a five-door SUV, is going to make its global debut next month. This car will have a stock petrol engine that will be fitted with an aftermarket turbocharger kit to boost the performance of the car and the finished project will be displayed at Tokyo's Auto Salon in January 2022. Realme RMX 3472 receives TKDN certification. Redmi Note 11 receives Serum certification. Realme 9 Pro Plus 5G is spotted on NBTC certification. Samsung Galaxy S21 FE receives Serum certification. Xiaomi Electric Scooter 3 Lite receives TUV Rhineland certification. Realme GT2 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor, Android 12, 12GB RAM is spotted on Geekbench database website. Realme 9 Pro Plus receives Bluetooth SIG certification. Realme RMX 3501 is spotted on IMEI database website. Indian variant of an upcoming POCO phone is spotted on IMEA database website. Alleged IQ9 Pro with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 processor, 12GB RAM and Android 12 is spotted on Geekbench database website. The moniker of Realme GT2 is spotted on NBTC certification. Realme 9 Pro Plus rear panel first look and the information of 5G bands is here. Oppo Enco Air 2 TWS receives Serum Certification. Realme C31 receives NBTC Certification. Alleged Xiaomi 12 Global Variant with 5G and NFC receives IMDA certification. This is all in today's Tech Talks. I hope you like it. Now, I will see you all on Friday with the next episode of Tech Talks by Pallu. Signing out for now. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, save water and don't forget to wear the mask.